What's going on YouTube? Evan here with Cloud9 Aquariums and today's Saturday and for me that means it's maintenance day. I just figured today would be a cool day to just kind of give you a tank update, take you around a little tour of my tank so you can see what I got going on, alright? So without further ado, over here I just got a little hospital tank, nothing too special, just kind of grawled some plants in there. Um, basically all that's in here is just some java moss, little tiger lotus in the back and some jungle vowel. Then I got a couple little clippings that came out of my other tanks. Over here is the 40 long, which you've seen in some of my other videos. I'll give you a little tour of the fish first. Over here are my veil tail angels. Uh, I think they're about eight months. They're pretty big. You can kind of see they're getting a good size. Um, right next to them right here, these are Australian rainbows. You got two males. And then I got some Salmon rainbows, there's one right there, here's another one. And then over here's my dude, he's a Bozmani. His girl's up here. Um, they're all pretty stoked right now because I did a huge water change today. And just because they think it's feeding time, so they're ready to go. Down here I got a couple, uh, they got a couple names. I don't really care which one you call them, but some people call them Roseline Sharks or Denison Barbs. I think there's something else too. I got like three of them. Then here's my little pack of Serpe Tetras, which are pretty awesome. I just like how they school around. I think it's pretty cool. Um, then over here I just got a couple little Emerald Quarries. There's four of them somewhere. and uh, I got a Pleco back there. I don't know if you can see him, but he's just hanging out waiting for me to turn the lights off so we can go to town. Um, plant-wise in the tank, I'll just talk a little bit about that too. Uh, back in that corner, there's some, <clears throat> excuse me, there's some of my tiger lotus back there. And then on this piece of driftwood right here, we got some Anubias. Um, I believe it's some Christmas moss up here. I thought I had lost it, but you can kind of see how it's growing. It grows a little, little different than my java moss that I got on this, this piece of driftwood right here. You can't even see it, driftwood is so thick, so that's pretty sweet. Um... In the background, I got a lot of uh, jungle vow, which just spreads like crazy, which is really cool. I really like uh, something that spreads fast just because it gives you a lot of options. You can move it around, and you only got to buy a little bit of it. Uh, right here is just a Amazon sword, and then um, down here, all this little stuff, uh, so I can get the focus better, is some star grass. And then today, I actually just added these little clippings from one of my other tanks of uh, baby tears and I actually put some over here too so it's gonna be cool because it's kinda just gonna carpet some of my uh, some of my pockets so I had a couple little open spots and I think it's just gonna look pretty sweet once it fills in um, over here on this piece of driftwood there's some more uh, java moss and or Christmas moss in the back I think and then um, right in this corner that's just disgusting but whatever it's <laughs> it's it's money wart and it's just disgusting because it's covered in blackbeard algae which i'm just going to treat it with excel and that usually takes care of it so hopefully that'll work then uh on this piece of driftwood actually there's some java fern too which is just finally starting to root so that's what's going on in here um i really like this tank just because i think it looks sweet how the filter tends to blow all the java or i'm sorry jungle valve over and it just kind of gives that that uh, a really nice look right in the center. Um, yeah, they're all freaking out. But especially with the four foot long tanks, it just looks cool when you have some kind of schooling fish. That's why I think um, the Serpes really do well in here. And actually, so did Denison Barbs, just because they actually tend to school a little bit too. And then uh, I really went for the Angels, just because I think they're really friendly fish. And they have some personality. And it's kind of cool to have a bigger fish that just kind of hangs out. And is kind of chillax, and then obviously the the rainbows are they're a little bit more hyper, but they're really cool to watch, and they really like playing in the stream and stuff. Like you can see some of them are doing right now. Um, so that's what's going on in there. Over here, this is actually the newest tank I've set up, most recent, and uh, it's a 30 tall. I just really like the look of it. I like to keep trying. To, I'm trying to just kind of keep it simple in this tank. Um, you can see I just got a bunch of neons. And then they're actually all hanging out right there in the back. You can kind of see um, those are clown loaches. Again, they're babies, so they're pretty, they're pretty small still, but they're going to get a lot bigger. 
Um, but in here for plant wise, we just got a little bit of dwarf sage in the corner back there. The whole carpet is some baby tears. And then um, that's a Madagascar lace, which I just think is an awesome plant. I mean, just look at this thing. Can you imagine? Like, it's just awesome. And actually, the reason it's got all the holes in the leaves is uh, native, it comes out of uh, rivers. And so it actually, you know, imagine if this had, you know, the leaves would just get ripped off if they were, you know, full size, like a normal uh, Amazon store or something like that. So they have the holes in it, so water kind of passes through it. So that's pretty cool. So I try to keep a high flow on it, just coming straight out of the filter, and it really seems to just do well. In fact, it's even got a little, you can see right there, it's trying to send a little flower bud up. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you can kind of see all my tanks. I got some duckweed floating around. I think it just works great. Keeps everything balanced, and it just looks kind of cool. Um, but again, today was maintenance day, so I, if you look at my other video, I mean, I just destroyed this, this carpet today. I went in there with a pair of scissors and just sheared it all down because it was like two or three inches tall and it just needed to be be pruned down because it's really gonna it's gonna thicken up so much now just because uh, this is one of those plants where you you prune it down it's gonna come back four times harder so I really like to give it a nice clipping but so that's my thirty tall that's what I got going on and uh, that's what's going on today it's Saturday maintenance day you know I like taking care of my tanks I try not to take them a whole day but today just some of my tanks needed some work. I wanted to get a new look on some stuff, so I really worked hard on all that. Um, but you know what? I really want to see everybody else's tanks, too. You know, this is a hobby. I like my tanks, but I want to see everybody else's tanks. I I love going to people's houses, just hanging out, chilling with their tanks, too, because it's, you know, you get cool ideas from everybody. So, you know what? Respond to this with your video. Um, do a little take, take update for me, you know? Show everybody else what you got going on. Whether or not you got a channel or not, that's fine, but, you know... Take some pride in your tank. It really, it really makes you want to make it look good, especially when you got a bunch of people watching. So, so show me what you got going on. Leave some comments. Subscribe. You know the works. Um, that's what I got for you on this Saturday, and uh, I hope this brings you and your fish a little closer to Cloud Nine.